Not really much to be that proud of. I will tell you this, for the first time in the history of this rivalry, the Aztecs were able to put together consecutive wins against the Air Force Falcons. To the queue, please. The Falcons. Always a thorn in the Aztec side, but not on this night. Late first quarter, J.C. Mejia makes his 18th field goal of the season, ties a single-season school record. Aztecs up three to zip. The Air Force answers. Joey Ashcroft nails a 40-yard field goal. We're tied at three at the half. Second half, Tom Kraft calls the play. Oh, unbelievable! Matt Dugalecki flips it to Hubert Calise down the field to a wide-open Devin Pitt. And the Aztecs are up 10-3. to three. Then it's Michael Franklin taking the handoff and watch him go. 17 yards untouched for the touchdown. Franklin, his second straight 100-yard game, filling in for Lionel Hamilton. Then the capper. Chance Harewood picked off by Marviel Underwood. But Marviel's not done. He takes it up the field, heads toward the center of the field, picks up some nice blocks, reverses field, and when he does, he's got nothing but green grass. And a couple of guys wearing black jerseys to lead the way. He goes 74 yards for the touchdown. The Aztecs dominate a good Air Force team, 24 to 3. As mentioned, Franklin over 100 yards for the second straight week. And what about the dark side defense? Held one of the nation's best running attacks to 286 yards, 100 yards less than their average. He had good pressure, and I was playing the zone. I mean, my, co my corners had good coverage, so I didn't need to help them. So he threw it up. I just tried to go and make a play. Coach set him up a couple times. I went in a couple times, ran a couple screens, you know. It was just for a setup for the big play. And when I came out on the flare, I seen everything stuck to me. And it wasn't a hard job to just put the ball right over the top. My West Conference is kind of shaky. You know, anybody, it, it, can, it can go either way. You know, anybody can win this conference. They picked it up last week, um, coming last in the conference. But, I mean, we went out there as offense and a defense and based this game on just having fun, you know. Because most of the games, we know how important they were, like, the one last week, if we would have won that one, if we didn't win this one, we would have had a chance at a, at a um, bowl game. But we just used this game as a game to go down to history and beat Air Force two years back to back. You know, that was a great thing. And the offensive line held up and the defense came back. And I mean, we just had a great game out there. This is one of the, the biggest wins I've had here. Uh, to beat an Air Force team who probably just, just kicked our butts every year. And to beat them last year and beat them this year, you know, it, it was big. And we, we liked it, man. We had fun today. This is one of our best games defensively because everyone ha had a part in it. You know, we stayed disciplined and we, well, we just kicked the butt, basically. And we Brandon Heath running the point out to Stokes now on the win. We would have guessed maybe early better, uh, perhaps some better penetration by the Aztecs. And Eric Sanders puts down the rebound, if you can call it that, after the missed dare ball. First points for Eric today. Another three-point attempt is no good. These guys are not afraid to gun. Heath, in the tournament game against Dayton, as you see Chris Manker check in. The Aztecs missed six free throws in the first 20 minutes of that ball game, and unfortunately, those were missed free throws that came back to haunt them at the end of the day. Second was good for Brandon. Six points for Heath. They find the wide open Greg Davis, and his three pointers good. Six for Davis. He's shooting 43% from three point field goal territory on the year. And you can see you can't give him much space because he's going to get rid of it quick. There's the seven-footer Manker. That being conducted on game day a couple hours before tip. I tell you what I was amazed with is how hard they really worked. I mean, they were, you know, putting in a good probably 25, 30 minutes of sweating out there. It wasn't just an easy drill. And, you know, it's going to help that young man. They need him out there this year. The 203 campaign. They've been the A-Sun champs in three of the last four seasons. 26 and six last early year. today. Shot no good in the rebound pulled down by Marcus Slaughter. Now Manker tried to get it inside to Tommy Johnson. He was batted away. It's Davis leading the break. Oh boy, they pulled up. Fans thought he walked. Not always run and shoot. Brandon Heath at the three-pointer. Not around the top of the key. Stokes for three, no good. And Robin in his first two games of the year, another three-point. He pulls up from 20 feet, knocks it down. Johnson finds Heath on the break around the back. Oh, Tony! 
anybody in the country. And you can see him up strong and the soft touch. He just brings that, like you said, the attitude and it brings a lot of enthusiasm. Four for 18 from the fleet field, rather, against Long Beach State in his first game as a collegiate. Undaunted, he goes to Maui for the tournament and opens that tourney with 28 against 25th ranked Ohio State. There are a lot of true freshmen that would have taken that four for 18 from the floor and stayed in a month-long funk. Free throw's good. That's 15 for Brandon Heath now to lead the Aztec attack. And Wesley Stokes knocks it away. Stokes to the rack. And the Aztecs claim a lead. Troy State calls time. Today marks Lewin's 27th consecutive start for the Trojans. Stokes shot is no good. Tommy Johnson pulls up from 15 feet down and hits it. 12 for Tommy today. Sanders somehow stole that away. Oh, it looked like Lewin had a lane for the... Chris Walton tried to get it inside to Tommy Johnson. Sanders got it back for him. Walton pulls up and can't hit the... Stokes finds Sharper wide open. That's a two-point attempt for John. No good. Walton's there for the rebound. Uses the glass and puts it back in. Nicely done by Chris Walton. Stokes down low to Walton. Turn around jump shot from the baseline is good. Very pretty stuff. Come on there. Feeling good. Stokes from three again, and that one's no good. Paint. Out of control, and Herbert Evans swoops that one around and in. Mathis from the corner, and he's good again from out there. Another three-point shot for Troy State. What a smart play by Greg Davis right there. He saw Wesley Stokes cheating over because Walton was covering him, and he knew he had to help out, and that's exactly what he did. Stokes thought about the three. Johnson to Heath. And the Trojans turn it over. Tommy Johnson all by himself to the rack, and the Aztecs have it down to two. Quadruple teamed. They find the open man, Heath. The shot no good. And the Aztecs wrestle away a rebound. Slaughter's good from the line, so the Aztecs down four. Smith, eat your heart out. <laughs> Nimble and spry as the day is long. <laughs> Outstanding work. Go right now. Had only burned a couple of seconds before the Aztecs were able to force the turnover. To Stokes for three. Shot is off. Stokes gets it back. Rob Lewin gets to share a handshake and a congratulations goes to the head man at Troy State. The Trojans really enjoying their first ever trip to California. For the first time in five tries, they've defeated a Mountain West Conference foe. They're fun to watch, that's for sure. And they'll get up and down the floor and uh, a lot of guys get to play for uh, the Troy State Trojans. Aztecs need to go back and uh, just regroup and get a couple practices on their belts and back to some of the fundamentals of the block out underneath. They gave up a little too many on the offensive rebounds. But overall, I, I think Steve is still happy with his team what they've done the last couple weeks. Well, the silver lining here is that uh, Troy State's leaving town and they won't be back again this year. <laughs> He's through afternoon. Troy State 93, Aztecs 84. We're